Hey, Couch Canoodlers, it's Alex with Couch.com. Today we're gonna talk about the P&L, or profit and loss statement, behind a furniture business, an average retail store, or an online retailer. So why should you care? You, as a customer, are always curious, am I getting a good deal? Are these people raking it in hand over fist? Are they driving a Porsche while I'm driving a Honda Civic? Well, that may be the case, but the furniture business may not be all it's cracked up to be at face value, so let's break it down. Do furniture stores make a lot of money? Well, the ones that are still open do. Are you getting a good deal is ultimately the question that you want to have answered. A furniture business can be very profitable or it can be marginally profitable, but the range of profitability isn't very large. You would think with such expensive items and such an inflated perceived value that there'd be a lot of money up for grabs in the furniture industry. The fact is, however, there are a lot of expenses that have to get paid on the other side of it. Now you may find a couch that may cost around two, three thousand, even five thousand dollars, but you can bet that after paying for the salespeople, paying for the usually the retail space, paying for the other overhead costs, that there's very little left when it comes down to profit. At the end of the day, profit margin for an average furniture business should be in, in around the 10% range after all is said and done, and that's if they're doing very, very well. Is a furniture business profitable? Most of them are marginally profitable, yes. If they're open, I was joking about this before, but if they are still open, then yes, they're probably a little bit profitable because somebody needs to make money for a business to have, be in existence. That being said, it is very, very difficult to make money in the furniture industry, especially when you consider all of the factors and changing variables in an environment. Certain things like supply chain costs. In the pandemic, the business that I was in charge of running we had a major shift of all of our suppliers um, and our customers. Everything sort of followed a little bit of a different pattern. Our advertising costs were a little bit different. So we sort of had to shift everything around. In the course of that shift, if you make one wrong move or take a little bit of a misstep or certain things start to compound, you can end up taking a profitable business and moving it down into the wrong direction. What is the typical profit margin on furniture? Profit margin is a little bit difficult to predict because every business has different expenses and things and different price ranges too. So that can be a little bit more of a dynamic figure. When you take into account some of the online retail uh, business models that are out there, things are a little bit different because of one very specific thing. National shipping is necessary. Now, whether they charge the customer some money for national shipping or they're offering it free as a promotion or everyday promotion, there's an expense there and it costs a lot of money. Shipping a couch, for instance, from point A to point B in this country is anywhere from $150 probably to, I don't know, around $500 these days. So it's a real expense. That being said, a markup on an online item may be a little bit higher and generally is than in a traditional retail store that only needs to deliver something in their local area. That same $100 item that costs $200 to the customer maybe $250 or $300 in this case. In summary, for all you furniture store owners out there, if you don't play your cards right, you might find yourself driving that Honda Civic for a little bit longer than you expected. Make a few wrong moves, and it might be a Kia. Just saying. <laughs>